A few years ago, rapper Tory Lanez really shot himself in the foot by literally shooting someone else in the foot. So how's that turning out for him? Tory Lanez has a tough decade ahead of him, as he is to serve 10 years in prison for shooting rapper Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. Lanez, whose legal name is Daystar Peterson, was found guilty of three felony counts, assault with a semi-automatic weapon, carrying a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. The Canadian rapper infamously shot Megan after a party at Kylie Jenner's home in July 2020, something he repeatedly denied. Ahead of the sentencing in August 2023, Megan said in a statement that, apart from inflicting physical harm on her, Lanes also tried to smear her name. She said, He paid bloggers to disseminate false information. He treated my trauma like a joke when I could have been dead. He blamed the system, he blamed the press, and as of late, he is using his childhood trauma to justify his actions. Meanwhile, Lanes issued an apology for what he did. He told the judge, If I could change it, I would, but I can't. Everything I did that night, I take full responsibility. Shortly after sentencing, Lanes was transferred to North Kern State Prison in California, which is notorious for its inmate-related crimes. And while the rapper is enjoying administrative segregation due to his celebrity status per TMZ, his prison life is reportedly lonely and pretty frightening to boot. Even though he says otherwise, insiders say that Tory Lanez is having a hard time adjusting to prison life. One source told Page Six, Tory is scared for his life and safety in prison. He feels like he is an instant and direct target because of his celebrity status. It doesn't help that he's smaller in stature and among the company of inmates who are convicted of more violent and serious crimes. The insider continued, He stands in at 5'3", so his size is definitely a setback. He is housed with real hardcore criminals, murderers. They also added that Lanes keeps to himself under the watchful eye of guards and that he's apparently still optimistic that his legal team could bail him out. Despite the situation, Lanes has feigned positivity for his fans. He shared on Instagram via an audio note that he's doing just fine before promoting the release of the deluxe version of his album, Alone at Prom. I want you to know I'm in great spirits. My drive and my ambition is growing strong and stronger every day. Even after everything, Tory Lanez insists that he is innocent. While he apologized in court, he claims this was only for what he said during the night of the incident, and not the actual shooting. In an Instagram post addressed to his fans, he wrote, This week in court, I took responsibility for all verbal and intimate moments that I shared with the parties involved. That's it. In no way, shape, or form was I apologizing for the charges I'm being wrongfully convicted of. I remain on the stance that I refuse to apologize for something that I did not do. However, before he was sentenced to a decade in prison, Lanes insinuated that Megan the Stallion was his friend and claimed they were still close despite what had happened. He also claimed that they'd known one another a long time and bonded over the deaths of their mothers, comforting one another in the wake of their losses. That hasn't changed, apparently, despite the criminal case. However, Megan has a different take on the story. In her court statement, she said, Since I was viciously shot by the defendant, I have not experienced a single day of peace. Slowly but surely I'm healing and coming back, but I will never be the same. Notably, Megan also claimed that she could never again bring herself to be in a room with Lanes. So what's really going on? Sadly, we just don't know. For now, though, it seems that these two ex-friends will remain just that.